All right, guys. Dan Dan here. So I'm back out here at um, this Ford uh, F350, my grandfather's truck. Um, came back out here so I could uh, finish the clay bar. And um, Mitchell, I, that day I got to uh, clay bar the hood. Mitchell's doing, uh, working on the rest of the truck right now while I'm about to start. Uh, if you can see these crappy uh, flames and whatever this was supposed to be that somebody tried to spray on here. So what I'm about to do uh, is start wet sanding and then obviously uh, polish or compound then polish and then I told y'all uh, I ordered that chemical guys black light and so I've got it this is what I've been waiting to try it on so um, it's what I'm hoping to do today to have enough time I got here later than I wanted to but um, hopefully I have enough time if nothing else I will show y'all if I don't get to put the black light on the whole truck I'll at least put it on the hood today and try to do like a 50 50 shot for y'all um and that'll probably be the main thing this will be about so anyhow uh i'll see y'all in a few minutes all right guys so real quick i wanted to for anybody who doesn't know um right now we're using this synthetic clay mitt um tends to this one tends to go a little faster like I said, I would tell you, I think it's an Eagle One, but uh, I'm pretty sure they discontinued this. But like I said, if you were gonna get one, get the Nano Skin uh, version. That I like it, that's um, synthetic clay on one side and then you can use it as a wash mitt on the other side. So, you know, as you're washing the car, knock out two birds, one stone. But I wanted to tell y'all, um, a clay bar, a real clay bar, you know, as you're using it, if it's, you know, white or yellow or a light color, as you're using it, you know you can look over and you can see it turning a darker color that's the contaminants getting in there so not only does it pull it out of the clear coat but then it sticks in the clay bar a synthetic clay um, pulls the contaminants are you know technically sure that like clay barring is technically abrasive um, that's why like if you do it on black paint you know really nice black paint you can if, if you have an eye for it you can see the marring that it leaves behind so you'd want to polish after that but the synthetic clay you know it pulls the contaminants out of the clear coat and a lot of people think they just can't see the contaminants because it's a black rubber or whatever it's made of but no in actuality it pulls it out but then it just leaves it on the surface and then has on the mitt so every so often as you're clay boring what we do is take and spray uh spray to knock off you know and even wipe the towel uh, to get the contaminants off the mitt and then as after you've clayed your your area then you want to take your towel and what usually you do anyways to pick up the lubrication you're using but you want to pick the contaminants up off the clear coat they're not actually absorbing into this synthetic material all right so that does that and by the way we're using both for claying and um, the wet sanding I'm doing we're using uh, O and R diluted down to the um, uh, detail spray or, or clay lube uh, dilution. You look on the bottle for that. Uh, that's why I like O and R. It's got multiple different uses um, in one product, and it's it's not a bad price. But if he brings in the camera over here, now I showed y'all what it looked like before, and what I want to show y'all is if you can see the haze. Now there's some um, low spots that I've got to go back over, you know, if you can see that in the camera, um, you know, there's big line down through here. But what I wanted to show y'all is if you remember this little square and two shapes, whatever it is, pie pieces, that um, they're still here or, you know, part of it's still here. And that's because, you know, when you're wet sanding, I'm wet sanding with 2,500 grit and no, that's not aggressive uh, by any means on the scale, but still you want to try to leave as much clear coat intact as possible. And all my goal is for this is to remove that spray paint or whatever it is 
and uh, you know get the surface flat you know it'll at the same time it'll remove you know scratches and swirls and all that so that's good but mainly to for this occasion to get that spray paint completely off and so then like I said we'll come behind compound it and then polish it and then I'm gonna bring the uh, chemical guys black light out and I'll show you all that so um, for right now we'll put y'all back on pause uh, I was gonna show y'all me wet sand the hood but once again we're in a pretty big hurry so anyways I've got the hood uh, wet sanded um, as you can see over here that's pretty much gone you know so in order to now take out the wet sanding marks going to compound I've got Griot's Garage Fast Correcting Cream um, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction turned me onto this it's definitely a good compound before this I was using McGuire's M105 and um, it's a good it's a good compound um, and it's not expensive but uh, it it does dust especially you know in the summertime like I wouldn't mind it's probably a little under 50 degrees 40 something degrees out here right now and I think uh, that 105 would probably do good but even when it's warmer I just have a bottle of O&R uh, sitting beside me and um, you know I just I'll miss the pad every so often um, hell I even do that when I'm compounding anyways uh, after I you know make a pass or two I'll clean the pad off but the compound that's still on there it dries out the the lubrication but um, still got compound on there so if you just take you some O and R do two squirts pat it back out you still got compound you can use so you know that's a tip right there but anyways uh, it's a good compound I definitely recommend it I forget how much it is for uh, this container right here it's more it's more expensive than M105 but uh, I think it's worth it so then using the you know Chicago electric otherwise known as the Harbor Freight uh, dual action polisher um, you can get this thing on sale for $49 the coupon and if you're gonna buy one I recommend they have coupons on it all the time so I recommend you get it with the coupon or you can look online you can always get a 20% off any like anything in the store pretty much and so uh, then we've got I want to say this is a late country uh, medium cut pad um, so it's not a whole lot of bite but it's got a little bit of bite to it to uh, help work with this compound and uh, take those sandy marks out so I just wanted to show y'all what I was using you know what I'm about to do uh, Mitchell's about to start he'll show you on uh, my grandmother grandmother's magnum over there uh, gonna do at least a wash on it for so um, I might get him to come back over here uh, and and show y'all me do a couple passes uh, taking these sanding marks out um, but we'll see how much time we got so that's it for now I'm gonna show y'all real quick um, Always, always, uh, anytime you're using polish, most things, period, chemicals, you want to give it a good shake. And um, then I always, you know, a lot of people will tell you, recommend that when you're first putting compound or polish on your pad, that you want to uh, prime it. So what we'll do, let's put us a little bit on there. I like to put it about right there um, not a full circle and then I like to put some closer to the edge and then uh, just kind of rub it in spread it to that edge on this one
And then, once you get that spread out, put you, uh, that's a little more than I wanted, two little pea-sized drops. And then, take it, pat your area out. I even smear it in a little bit. just so we don't get any sling. Then on this machine, I take it down to four, start it up, spread out the product over your whole working area. No pressure. Crank her up to six. Very light pressure. That's all you got to do. And most people will tell you that this Harbor Freight, the Chicago Electric V8, has got more power, more torque than the Porter Table V8. And I can testify to it because. Over my um, I had the quarter table and I got to compare it side by side with this Harbor Freight. Probably the last pass I'm going to do here. 
y'all seen on my orange speed, not going super slow, not going super fast. Uh, I'm not, you know, maybe like four pounds of pressure that I'm putting on. Um, and what you want to wait for is for your, your top pad or your polish. up the lubrication because you don't want to dry buff. See how on this pad, once I got started, now it's nice and spread, you know, over the pad, the majority of it, so then you don't have dry spots. But from here on out, I will only take and put, you know, three pea-sized drops and that's good enough. So let's uh, flip this towel around. Most towels are double side. You got the long on one side and the short on the other side. Long is good for uh, soaking up liquids. What I found in the short side is better for taking off, uh, you know, compound polish and um, and waxes. Although with waxes, you know, they don't stick like. And and this this Grios is not. Uh, it's not hard to wipe off, but I wouldn't say it's the easiest either. I think it's, you know, easier than M105 if you work it down properly. Honestly, as you can see right here where I picked up the pad where I stopped at, you can see it, it still had some lubrication in it. This has got a good work time on it. All right, so Mitchell's gonna bring it in. And what I want you to know is, and I think I told y'all about it already, it already had these cracks um, in the paint, unfortunately. So you can still see those. Now, when I wet sanded, it got them down. That's why you can see, you know, that they're white now because what it did, it was like a ridge, a ridge like this. And so what I did is sand that down flat. And so now what you're seeing is that space where it took that uh, black paint off. Um, but if I, if I wouldn't have wet sanded, the polisher probably would have took that off anyways. And it, it probably would have tore up my pad. So it's what it is. But if you can see, Mitchell can, can get it on camera. You know, this now is got uh, and this is just compound, uh, but it's it's now we've taken out the sandy marks, um, so it's nice, way better than what we started with, and um, we've got that uh, those excuse my French, but shitty flames off here, and those little designs, whatever we got that off. But if you can see where uh, I stopped, you can see that haze, those sanding marks. And then you can see, when we come down here, you can see your reflection, or a reflection. Um, whereas up here, you know, it's dull and uh, milky looking, however you want to describe it. But, so that's what we were aiming for right here. The Griot's Garage did a good job. It's a good compound. Like I said, I'll come behind this with a polish. I might show you all that. Um, but for now, uh, that'll do it. Uh, so, uh, it done got dark on me, but I, I wanted to get to test out the Chemical Guys black light. So, um, what I did is I used blue, I think this is a Buff and Shine, blue polishing pad, and I treated it uh, like a polish. I made uh, like four passes with it and um, so I'm about to wipe it off and I, I want y'all to know what I did 
was I came over here to the door and so this has been washed and clayed but I did no wet sanding over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if Mitchell gets up kind of close on here and I'll even use this light maybe that'll help y'all see it better I mean it's hazy you know it's got a lot of imperfections so um, the hood I wet sanded so I could get those you know flame those crappy flames that somebody spray painted on there but off but um and then I'm like and then compound polish and then put this black light glaze on top of it uh, I say glaze I guess I seen a guy on YouTube that made a video that said uh, he treated it like an all-in-one and so that's what we're about to see is is it gonna do that or if nothing else is it gonna make it look much better than what it did what it looked like before oh man that's what I was hoping for I can tell y'all as far as uh, ease of wiping off this stuff is amazing comes off like butter so we're gonna pull the tape line to see our 50 50 and from what I see I hope y'all guys are gonna be able to see this very dramatic difference uh, so let him come in get real close up on that even closer paint it from like this angle Then from this angle so I hope y'all can see that you know I, I hate that uh, I ran out of daylight but with these LED flashlights y'all should be able to at least see the difference now I'm gonna come back out here and uh, finish the rest of this truck with just the chemical guys black light um, another day but from what I'm seeing is it perfect no but definitely looks a lot better a lot of improvement um, over what we started with so and that's that's all you know we're aiming for is I wanted to it needed a good wash uh, it needed to be clayed because I'm sure it's never been clayed so I wanted to get that done um, I want to get it looking good now this chemical guys uh, glaze is supposed to leave some kind of protection behind probably the next time I come out here I'll do a water test um, but I'm still going to end up putting a sealant on top of this when I get done with the uh, black light so I just wanted to get to show you all that uh, before we cut out of here but um, that pretty much concludes it guys